two billion people across the world consume liquor. A small percentage of those fall into the category of excess. But whether you drink a little or you drink a lot, every drop of liquor tells a different story. It is a little bitter. This is Bonnie Honey, and this is uh, Miss Piggy, <laughs> and uh, this is uh, Daphne the Duck, and um, this is Pork Little the Pig. Oh, what up, what, uh, uh, what up, what up, Doc? Whatever that fucking thing is. Anyway, where was I? I don't know where I was. Every time I have a drink of Almond Dean, my mind goes back many, many years. Way back, 1978, that's when they first bottled this stuff. I remember. The bottles that I remember was Elmer Fudd. What's up, Doc? Now that's Bugs Bunny. They had Bugs Bunny, too. And they had Sylvester the Cat, you know, fucking trying to break a treaty all the time. And then they had uh, Wiley Coyote, the stupidest fucking coyote them. You should have just fucking cut off crackers. I don't get caught longer. Anyway, I get it really. When I was first married, just after that, when Trina was born, she was just a little baby, a little baby baby, and about the same time as she was going, yeah, because she had fucking gollicky gollicky. My wife, I got a job as an undercover undercover cop, and I was, what I was doing, and I was hot through, I was investigating a bootlegging ring. These guys are real bad asses. And I, I grew a little beard, and I was fucking really cool, and, and I got ingratiated myself with the whole cock sucking bunch of them. And I was fucking, I, I was on top of my game. But I started having trouble at home because Barb was saying, you can't stay out till four o'clock in the morning and expect to have marriage and all that shit. And when I used to stay up, I hardly slept at all. I was fucking, sleep diversity is one of the most, I, you can't fucking think if you don't have bleeps. I used to stay up and I used to feed a little Trina over a little bottle. And then sometimes I'd take one of the bottles and I'd take the, Fucking waste of Balmadine. And I take off the the nipple and I just put some of my own liquor in it and Barb caught me. She hit the fucking roof. I was passing wasted. I got I went down to the tavern where the boys were hanging out and I walked in there with my fucking twelve gauge shotgun. They didn't know what the fuck was coming on. And I had a bat. And I told them they were all fucking under arrest, and I battered the shit out of every fucking bottle in the place. Glass flying everywhere. And then I came across these beautiful little flagellarines. Don't spill a little, honey. And I thought of Trina, and I thought of my marriage, and I was, you know, sometimes a little bit, you know, you get a little emotional when you're, uh, when you're drinking sometimes. And it stopped me dead in my tracks. And I couldn't smash the flagellines, so I put them in my pocket. And when I'm putting them in my pocket, fucking big head cocksuck comes up, fucking whacks me and knocks me out. The next thing I know, I'm in a fucking garbage dumpster. So I still have my flagellines. So I polished them all off, and I turned myself in at the police station. I was fucked. I mean, truly fucked. We weren't supposed to bust those guys for another month. They demoted me. <laughs> I was on uh, picket patrol from 9 o'clock in the morning to 5 o'clock at night. Come rain or shine, lay he fine. But you know, it was a not bad thing, really, because it saved my marriage. <laughs> I guess for every cow, there's a silver lining. No doubt about it.